What's up guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad 3. And so this is a, a good value laptop at $300. Um, it is on Black Friday, and so I guess it is either three or four hundred, uh, four or $500 normally. But I got it for three here. So this has um, an Intel i3 5G1 um, and has integrated graphics. Um, it has an internal NVMe drive which is 256 gigabytes which can be upgraded. Um, it is like the smallest one but you can upgrade to I believe an 80 millimeter. Then it also has room for a 2.5 inch drive. Though you will have to buy uh, the adapter separately. Right, so sliding it out of the box here, this is a 15 inch laptop. Here it is. This is the easiest. So, how many watts is this? I believe it can um, do 65 watts. Um, so it just has a barrel charger. Does not have USB-C, unfortunately. Um, but let's... It is decently light and thin-ish. Thinner than the Chromebook that I've been using before. Um, so we have some foam protecting it very nicely. This is a modern-looking design. It has the Lenovo logo. And it is not a two-in-one. It has plastic bottom. Is that plastic on the top also? Okay. But it looks nice. It's really square, which I indeed like. Even says to itself, a stylish design. So we have that. We have Lenovo services. 15% off for service order. Hopefully we won't, won't need any of that. That's a pretty good trackpad, so this is the IdeaPad 3, privacy shutter. That's nice, probably should pull that sticker off though. Keyboard is, again, better than my Chromebook. Not the greatest though, um... It might be mechanical, but I'm not sure. Have the power button here. See if it has any juice. It's a very light laptop also. Um, let's see. Looks like there's a bunch of air vents, um, down under the hinge. So it doesn't have any battery, let's charge it up. Again, it has, uh, Intel Core i3. Can bend, um, I believe that's 180 degrees. So, on the right side, we have our headphone-microphone combo. And a uh, full size SD. This is actually pretty chunky, boy. Right, and then on the left side here we have two USB 3s, a uh, USB 2, and our barrel plug. Let's charge it. Alright, so it has been plugged in for some time. Let's see if it'll power on now. Alright, I see a light on the power button. There we go. Ooh. I'm not sure if there's a fan inside even. I don't know, but there, that's kind of a cool startup uh, screen logo. Alright, I've done this a few times. Right, so it looks pretty snappy. It is an i3 10th gen. Let's just take a look. About. So yep, we have an i3 1005G1 at 1.2 gigahertz. I don't know why it says 1.19 gigahertz, but it can go up to 3 point something, I believe. 8 gigabytes of DDR 2666 uh, RAM. So it says Windows 10 Home in S mode. Yep, so it makes it so we can, um, alright, oh, cool, 
So you, you don't actually even have to like reinstall the OS. Uh, so I can install non-verified apps. Um, I can use other browsers. Um, and OneDrive has always been there. What's WinG? Um, just set up our game bar settings. Alright. Uh, dark theme. I'll, um, edit more preferences, so let's do that. Xbox game bar. Mm-hmm. So you have Win G, um, record. I'm gonna have Control Shift R. Um, uh, oh, I know this. We're gonna have Control Shift V. That's for the last thirty seconds, right? Yeah. Then Control Shift S for screenshot. And start stop recording, control shift R. There we go. Well, we can broadcast. Okay. Let's save that. Alright, perfect. Alright, so I forgot about this video for an entire year. Now I'm finally posting. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the very next video.